my friends. So it is time for Box of Charm once again. Now, I have a little bit of a sad story in that I'm having some serious camera issues lately and I have actually already unboxed about half of this. So I'm not going to fake it and pretend like I don't know what's in here. I did fake it and put the bow back on, but I'm telling you. Uh, so I apologize that it's not a true unboxing, but I will still share my thoughts and feelings about this box. If you don't know anything about this, BoxyCharm is $21 a month. It is a beauty subscription. It is delivered to your home, and it usually includes lots of fabulous, glorious beauty products, usually makeup and some other stuff, sometimes hair, sometimes skincare. Uh, and this has become my favorite subscription, and that is completely honest for me to you. And if you've watched the last few BoxyCharm videos, you'll know why, because typically there's over $100 worth of products in here, if not $100 very close to $100 and uh, yeah that's pretty exciting uh, before I get into that just real quick I know people are gonna ask me about my jewelry and my nails so just real quick necklace is forever 21 earrings are a little black bag bracelet is a little black bag uh, nails uh, the coral color is uh, bikini by Julie G and the white is oh no something white by Julep so anyway, uh, so BoxyCharm, I, I do get this as a promotional box, but I am always very, very, very honest about what I think about the products inside. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. And this is how fake I am. I have the card outside of the box because I forgot to put it back in when I reboxed it. So uh, it says strike a pose, winter, weather is warming up, blah, blah, blah. Something about taking selfies, I don't even know. But I'm not going to look on the back because it has all the products on it, even though I already know about half of them are. So let's take that off and then I will show you the first thing I opened up was the blush by Model Co. We do get a lot of Model Co. products in BoxyCharm. If you are not a fan of getting uh, products by the same company over and over. BoxyCharm may not be for you because we do get a lot of Model Co products and some other brands. Uh, this blush I feel is very dark for a spring uh, giving of a product. Uh, I have already dug into this quite a bit because I was testing it. I will show you the swatches on my hand. Okay, so this is the finger swatch and then this is a brush swatch. I just swirled my brush in there and then I put it there. So one thing I noticed as I was using this is it did kick up a lot of powder which typically doesn't bother me uh, we'll have to see how long this wears uh, I feel like this is something I might be able to uh, kind of pair with a brighter blush to kind of tone it down a bit uh, but this is definitely something I'm going to use probably more in the fall and winter time so we'll hold on to that for then the next thing I unboxed was this glorious cool way finishing oil. Now I've had hits and misses with Cool Way. One thing I do appreciate about Cool Way is the scents of their products. They always smell not really chemically and a very sweet smell, which I personally enjoy. Uh, this is a finishing gel. So you, it just comes out like gel out of the pump and you just kind of smooth it over to your over your hair to smooth away the flyaways. And that is something I have problems with all the time. So I'm very thankful to have this. Next thing I unboxed was this impaled uh, box of eyeliner. I don't know what happened to my poor little box, but I'm just going to throw that away anyway. I don't really care. This was the uh, the eyeliner. It's a black eyeliner and I think I you just saw the swatch a minute ago, but we'll zoom in again. So this is the swatches that I did. I'll do, we'll do one for you here too. And you can see how black that is. But see, even just me messing around over the uh, past few minutes has kind of faded these a bit. So I don't know as far as those are the old ones. Here's the new one. The new one does smudge. So I didn't see the old ones fading a whole lot from the touch, but they, they definitely weren't as opaque as they were when I first put them on. Uh, the smudging thing is kind of a hit or miss depending on what you're using it for. I don't have high hopes for this liner. I don't particularly like the lip liner I've gotten from them. Uh, it kind of dried out relatively quickly. I feel like pencil uh, products, you know, that are in the wood pencil, they dry out a lot faster. Do you all have the same experience with those or is that just me? I don't know, but I'd love to know what you think about about that in the car. So that was that was given to us. And again, this is $21 a month. So this is a really nice amount of stuff for $21 a month. So the next thing, was I unboxing the else? No, that was it. So everything else is new. I did just see a second ago that we did get this Bella Pierre nail color. And this looks really pretty. I have a lot of colors kind of like this, but they're a lot more um, muted, you know, a lot more calm than this. This is very exciting, this bright color. Let's do the drip test. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm gonna say a two to three coat polish on that one. I'm checking the thickness to see. So based on the thickness of this and how it dripped, I'm gonna say it's probably a two coat polish, maybe a three coat polish, but it seems pretty nice. We did get a Bella Pierre eye base in the last boxy charm. I also got one, I think, in my Ipsy or something. I got two of them. I gave one away. Uh, but you know, this is the first. Be this is the second Bella Pierre product that I have gotten. The eye base was just okay for me. Uh, it wasn't fantastic. I know a lot of you really enjoyed it, but it wasn't fantastic for me. And then the last thing in here looks like a lip product. Oh, it's by Ofra. Okay. Ofra. I love their lip product that I got last time. It's actually, if you see my channel trailer, it's actually in that channel trailer. You can see my lip color changes in the clips that follow that. I really, really like that color uh, because it's very opaque. I bet you this one's going to be super opaque too. Yes, it sure is. And it smells like cake. Nice. Uh, this actually seems a little more oily than the last one. Maybe that's just my imagination. So that is the swatch. I'm going to try to blend it out a bit to see if it'll... Ooh, that made a huge mess. Okay. Let me show you the applicator. It's just a regular doe foot applicator. Nothing crazy there. And I do really like this color. I think I'm going to use this a lot. Very, very happy to get this. So in summary, for BoxyCharm this month, we got the Cool Way Hip Finishing Spot oily stuff. We got the Model Co. blush, we got the Model Co. eyeliner, we got the Bella Pierre nail polish, and we got the Ofra lip gloss or long-lasting liquid lipstick is more accurate. And BoxyCharm does an amazing job putting this box together. I don't know how they do it, including all of these full-size products. Every product in here is full-size which is beautiful and wonderful and makes me happy as someone that loves subscription boxes. Uh, this one, once again, makes me happy. I think this is four months in a row that I feel like everything in here is pretty doggone amazing. The only thing I am not, well, there's two products I'm not super excited about, but I think it's personal taste. I don't think that they're bad products, it's just personal taste. I'm not as excited about the blush and I'm not as excited about the eyeliner, but that's just me personally. I think there's a lot of people that would be excited about it and they are gonna be used, they are gonna be loved, so. Thank Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out my social media that I've becoming more involved in. I have an Instagram, I have a Facebook, and I have a Keek that I've been trying to keep up on. I have the links to those down below. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you would like to see more videos of mine. Mad love, my friends, and I will see you soon. Bye!